Okay, check. Welcome to a live broadcast here in windy, sunny Tenerife in my manor in Cano Slovakia. This is what you're happening is going to happen today on today's live show. We've got shout outs, many of them. Rugby Union, Rugby League, CD Tenerife with the main man. We've got horse racing fancy of the week. Bit of golf news, Wrexham Football Club with Graham Mathias, Hendon and Chatham non-league football and a little bit of darts news here on Webby Sports Roundup. Morning everybody again, Webby Sports Roundup here in windy, sunny, cold Tenerife. I've made a bit of an effort, it's the Euros coming up in June and July. So I thought I'd get me Mercedes, me German outfit on, and me cap. What more can I say? Very, very special guest star we've got this morning. We had him on the very first live show I did a few weeks ago. He got lots of views, and I thought, let's get him back. He knows his football. That's about it. It is the main man, Chris Todd of the Armada, sir. He is the general of CD Tenerife. Toddy. How are you, Ken? I can't, um, <laughs> I can't shake his hand, because in the end of the day, his right hand, on the basis that uh, he's a heretic. What, what was that? Well, celebrating Tenerife as equaliser the other day. Oh, get out of it. You wouldn't hit your hand on that one, would you, for God? Come on, boy, boy. Right, today, before we start, I'm going to wish all my viewers, old and new subscribers, a very, very happy Easter. I'm sure there's a lot over there that's just sitting at home in the bed watching me on TV, having a cup of tea and a cup of coffee with a biscuit. So happy Easter to everybody. We've got massive shout outs, lots of going on today. Talking about next week, last week, next year, whatever. Big shout out to my number 99, to Foggy. Give him some love. Facebook page, Webby Sports Roundup. That's what we have today. Right. Toddy, um, I've given him a massive job today. Any comments coming through, any questions, Please send them through as soon as you possibly can. We're going to be on for about an hour, 9.30 to 10.30. Toddy is going to be there answering them all, sending them out to us. And because when we got uh, the main man, Timothy Dowd, you know, living with MS in Tenerife, he's logistics manager doing everything for me. Absolutely top man. I don't think he chucked his dummy out this morning, but he's only picked on me twice. So that's the thing with our Chris and with, uh, with Tim this morning. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to do a lot of shout outs first. Let's get rid of them, if you pardon the expression. We've got some half, and we'll do another half a little bit later on. Right. First and foremost, Teddy Bear, Alex, come in the uh, Monte Cristo this week. Comes every year. Lovely. Top man, Rangers fan. He said, Webby, you remember um, Phil and Claire? Of course I do. Used to come in the world famous Garden Bar. So it's a big shout out to you, Alex, and to Phil and to Claire. Love you loads. See you soon, hopefully one day. Right. Two more good friends of mine used to come in the world-famous Garden Bar. Barsley fans looking for a big resort today. Lynn and Chris. Morning, you two. Hope you're well. Um, we'll see you very, very soon. Another big shout-out. You know, I know uh, Billy Mitchell, EastEnders. Good friend of mine, Perry Fenwick. Anyway, his brother messaged me every week. It was his birthday last week. A belated one to Farron. Happy birthday, Farron. Hope you had a good time. And a good birthday, big man. Who else we got? Listen, did a great video this week. It was a bit windy. It was what it was. We've got just under a thousand views already. Guy called Tatey, okay? Richard Tate, been around 34, coming 35. Anyway, cut long story short, I interviewed him with 15 questions, 15 answers. We had a fantastic time. Good mates with Liam Grimshaw at Dundee United. He's just finished football now with uh, St. Mirren, Paisley boys. Obviously, uh, Kevin the Scotsman. Obviously wanted to meet him, but Kevin was over two or three weeks ago. So big shout out to Kevin. Um, so he come on, did the show with me, but I walked around like a letter. It was fantastic. It's a shame I got the, uh, the bit of wind, but it is what it is. I'm learning, aren't I? I'm a dinosaur. You know what it's like with me. An absolute dinosaur. Oh, now, you expect to get a bit of wind, don't you? Listen, that's where that voice come from. Uh, get out. I, I don't know, Tony. I tell you. Listen, we're going to sort him another job next week. Now, he's got a little business back home. I'm going to give him a bit of advertising. <laughs> Excuse me. Bit of a fitness lad. I showed him a photo of me 25 years ago when um, 
when I was fit. But you know, you know, I mean, fit as a butcher's apron. Right. It's called Adversity Fitness. So if you want to Google that, Adversity Fitness, Richard Tate, Tatey boy, tell you you come from Webby and you look after and you get you as fit as Mike Tyson, okay? He's fighting that poor guy, isn't he? He's going to knock him to six in the first round, that's for sure. Right, Tatey, top man. Right, um, listen, we've got to go to one of our favourites. He's on the phone every day, Ray Duffy from Fife. Him in Madge. Oh, my God. He, he cannot go to bed. He just sends me emails, messages, everything. I can't understand. He's obviously had a few pints of Guinness in between. You know you know who he is, don't you, Tim? Yeah. Duffy. Mr. Duffy. R Ray, Madge, love you. Right. We've got one or two more. Um, but before we go, another famous footballer has just passed away yesterday. Can't believe it. He was 74, I believe he was. So rest in peace, ex-footballer Larry Lloyd. Nottingham Forest, uh, I think about 150 games for Liverpool. Coventry City Football Club, an absolute big living centre-half legend. So another one has passed away. And I remember he actually came over into the Monte Cristo a few years ago. And I try to remember the gentleman who brought him in. So he used to play for Notts County as well. And I had a good chat with him at the end of the bar. Lovely, lovely fella. Uh, the gentleman used to have a restaurant over here, and I, I thought of his name yesterday straight away. Today, can I think of it? Can I L? Uh, but anyway, met him, Larry Lloyd, nice fella. And he had an apartment, I remember, in Calahonda near uh, Marbella when we used to go there. Just a nice guy. Rest in peace, big Larry Lloyd. Right. And he was a Bristol boy, Southwest country again. Right. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll leave the, um, the bars and the restaurants so a little bit later in the show, but there's um, there's there's a lot of them. Tim, football, that picture. Do you want me to put it up? The amateur lads. Now I'm going to get this. It's the amateur football club, Kirk Barton. Okay, they're from Huddersfield. Tim's going to put the picture on there. Now I've got it on here somewhere. They won something like nine or twelve nil, I think, um, last week. Oh, if I can find it, I'll find it. Bum, bum, bum. Talk amongst yourself. Well, I've got some comments here oh, from guess, people. Go on, get some comments in. Morning, Webby, from Anna, Anne-Marie Elton. Uh, around the grounds, that's the Sheffield Wednesday. All around the game, that's Lee. Morning, yeah. Lee. Let me, hey, you're batting above your waist, big man. I watched it. I watched your uh, vlog yesterday. Chester. Get to Chester Zoo. Yeah, go on, son. Uh, also, Mark LFC. Is that Liverpool? Oh, yeah, him, yeah he, him, he's on all the time. He keeps, keeps picking on me. More Kim, uh, morning, Mark. How are you, son? Also, someone asked yesterday to ask Chris about Tenerife FC largest shirt sizes. That's right, because I did say come on today. Uh, so he's asked you. They so, don't go into XXXL is about the biggest. They always do. Is that double XL? Uh, uh, they don't. Yeah, no, triple XL, I think, would be the biggest. Yeah. They're always a bit tight, Hummel, anyway. Okay. Uh, Chris Todd said hi. Oh, that's me. Um... Simon D Dale, morning Webby. Morning, Sight. How are you, big man? Sharon Gamble, morning Webby. Morning, Shaz. Yeah. Uh, morning, Webby. Just ironing my scarf ready for this afternoon's game versus Coventry City up the town. Oh. Garfield. Who's uh, that? Garfield. Must Garfield. be at Huddersfield. Huddersfield Town. Good luck, big man. It'll yeah. be a tight game. Be a big, big, big game. Tight, that, three o'clock. Yeah. Well, it is for you and us, to be honest with you, because we're looking for the playoffs. Let me get back to this Mark Wiltshire and his son. Uh, good afternoon, Webby. I think that is Joe has commented. Uh, that's his son. Sheridanton, under 12s, beat Mitch and Hampton 9 0 last Saturday. Excellent performance, playing some really, really good stuff. So, they don't look under 12. <laughs> what do they look like? Oh, are they? Have you have you put the right one there? I haven't done anything. No. <laughs> Can I just come and have a look? Keep talking. To... Uh, Let's have a look. All right, all right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who was it? Was it a blue one? Isn't it that one? I can. I'll continue. Matt. Uh, <laughs> no. Andy Park said morning, Webby. Oh, Mark you know? Sweeney. Morning, chaps. Morning. Alex Merchant. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you know? I don't know. Like that that team was up as well last week. I have. Do you know something? So many messages are coming through. I can't keep up with. It's like a full time job, isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. You're losing your mind. I'm losing. Lo I lost that when I was born. Under twelves with beards. Under twelves. That's a. It was. I'm sure under twelves. It was. Was that the ones on Facebook that you put up? 
Come on. All right. Well, listen, listen I'll give you a good mention that's anyway. A shave, that's, yeah, that's a close shave. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Toddy, Toddy, get rid of it. Right. We'll do the... Uh, we'll do... <laughs> We'll do all the bars, pubs, and we'll have you a little bit later on. So remember, so I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do that, 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 and some of the names as well. Right. Let's go on with a bit of uh, bit of rugby. This is what it's all about. If you just... Pardon? Okay, let's, let's do... <laughs> I know, this is what it's all about, Eddie. Love to add it. We'll go rugby union first, please. It's the same ball anyway for you, isn't it? No. Oh, you put a different ball, have you? It's, it's the same shape. <laughs> all right, all right. Keep your air, keep your air on. So he's chucking his dummy out, isn't he? Listen, if you just joined the channel, welcome. All right. If you've not subscribed, Webby Sports Roundup Facebook page, comments down below. Toddy's going to be doing all the uh, all the comments. Any questions, please, for Chris Todd of Tenerife, for myself or for Tim or whatever. Just do it. All right. Just do it. Right. Bit of rugby union. Listen, I haven't got any Gloucester rugby shirts on, have I? Uh, we've got another guest coming on in a couple of minutes' time. Big Leeds United fan. We'll get him on in a few minutes' time. Right, Gallagher Premiership kicked off again last week after the Six Nations. Uh, Bristol at home, uh, sponsored by Kenaway Building Supplies, uh, took on top of the table Northampton, and they beat him by 52 points to 21. The big game last Friday as well, which was Leicester taking on Gloucester Rugby again. We beat them in the Gallagher Premiership final last week, um, 22-13. Now, we took them on at Welford Road last Friday, and we've not beaten Leicester for 17 games on the bounce away to them. OK, now, it was on the basis of a gentleman called Ed Slater. It was the Ed Slater Cup. He used to play for Leicester, and then he came to Gloucester, and he was diagnosed a few years ago which Tim would uh, would understand, with multiple cirrhosis, OK? What a lovely, lovely fella. And I did meet him at King's Own once a few years ago. I uh, can't remember which game I went to see. Lovely man. Anyway, so Leicester played Gloucester at Welford Road last Friday for the Ed Slater Cup, and Gloucester turned out winners 25-27. Varney scoring a penalty in the last couple of minutes. So phenomenal. Great crowd. Gloucester fans there shouting, Gloucester as they do. So big select to my pal, Steve from Gloucester and Quesley. Love you, big man. And I'll see you very, very soon. And get that season ticket with Roy. Sort it, mate. Right. So that's the rugby union for Friday. Well done to Gloucester Rugby. First time they've beaten them in, say, 17 games. Weekend also, fourth place Exeter took on bottom of the table Newcastle. Turned them over 25-16. And the big uh, team of Saracens are a third at the moment. Took on the mighty Quinns or a fifth and absolutely give them a bit of a pull for um, smashing 52 points to seven. And the other big game, Gloucester, local derby, Bath, who from the recreation ground, Bath are a second. They beat Sale with all the money, 42 24. Uh, that's rugby union. I, I, it started rugby union. I never said rugby league. So we're going to go rugby league in a couple of minutes' time. But in between, we're going to see if there's any more comments. So that's the rugby union. And one of the Gloucester start turning it around. Well, we've got a few new um we've got a few new signings for next year. If you remember um, the big man Reef Zamet, he's just gone to America. We got Wade, ex Wasp. Five years ago, he went off to America and he's come back. I think he's from France. So we've got it for next year. Any comments, uh, Mr. Todd? There's a few, yeah. Uh okay. Fogarty, Tony Fogarty. That's my number 99. Morning, Foggy. Yeah, morning. He said, great job as always. And question for Toddy, his favourite Stranglers song. He knows I like the Stranglers. Do you? And that era of music, of course. Best music, 79 to 85, always said it. Anyway, to answer your question, get a grip on yourself. It's one of the most, the classic ones. Uh, yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, and another question was, for, where can I buy the Tenerife home top online? Uh, Google Soy the Tete, that's a friend of ours. Uh, or if not, go to the official club website and you'll see the tienda at the top. Just click on that. I just spell that. So did tete, was it? Soy del tete. How did you spell it? Uh, S O Y del D E L and tete T E T E, okay. which is the nickname of CD Tenerife. Okay, hey, fantastic. Well, we'll talk about Tenerife in a few minutes' time uh, to see where they are in the league and what happened in last week's so, we're, year. Yeah, we're finishing rugby union now. 
can I just give you a mention, Tim? Can you keep up with us, please? <laughs> Tim? <laughs> can, I, can I just say this? Put, Tim, Tim, put, put your picture on. Put it on again. Now, everybody, watch. What is he wearing? He should never, ever wear a yellow top when Mr. Todd <laughs> comes on on my show. And the reason why is because it is Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. That is their colours, yellow. So we, we don't approve of it, okay? No. Oh, uh, do be. Have you got... Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's 22 euros. Coming in here the in a yellow is, shirt. They haven't got a... Rugby union. Yeah, we're going to rugby league now. Ad Libin. We're going to Rad Libin now. We're going to rugby league now, please. Okay, rugby league. If you just tuned in, Webby Sports Roundup. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for free. Sunny Tenerife, windy, it's cold. I've even got my jacket over there somewhere. Unbelievable. Any comments? Todd is here with the comments. Any quick comments or not? Yeah, Ian Duffy, morning, Mr. Mayor, and all, <laughs> and all, and all, wet leaven. And all what? Wet uh, leaven. Oh, leave it, leaven. Yeah. Leaven. Big yeah. Duffy, how are you, Raymond? Andrew R. Hi, Webby. Morning, Andrew. Is that Andrew Roberts from Swansea, maybe. Oh, could be. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Hi. Right. If it is you, but hi. Okay. <laughs> ah, no, you're right. I beg your pardon. And then, motion uh, neuron disease. Who said that? I beg your pardon. Sorry, John Jade. Yeah, he does. I beg your pardon. Beg, beg your pardon. But in the end of the day, lovely fella. Lovely fella. Bit of rugby league now. Let's go to the north part of... Are you joking? Oh, well, that, well he, he was going to come on the show. Yeah, I know these Yorkshire people are tight, but do me a favour. In a few minutes' time, we're going to bring him off. Just cut the miss. He can stand it in the back. My mate, Blue Eyes John, Leeds United fan, and a big shout to Jackie, his lovely wife. He leaves her at home and everything. You know what he's like. Pardon? Ray, there's, there's the coffee. There's the coffee. There's the co Look here. You've just got out of the bed, have you? Oh, dear me. You should have. You've been up since 7 o'clock, I bet you have. Right. Sorry, people are saying, get the yellow cap off, Webby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but the yellow cap goes with um, the black, red and everything else, yeah? No. Ah, shut it, shut it, we are shut it. Sunny Tenerife in the cold. Right, bit of rugby union news. Uh, rugby league, sorry, I'm just, just messing him about. There was one, it was um, Challenge Cup last week, which is the FA Cup of England. And we're talking the Challenge Cup. There was one game in the Betfred last night started, and that was Castleford losing it home to Leeds Rhinos by 26 points to six. And Castleford have had an absolute dismal start. They've lost every game, all six games. So the uh, Challenge Cup winners, we'll go through it very, very quickly. Wins for Hulkingston Rovers, my boys St. Helens, Wigan Warriors, Huddersfield Giants, Lee, uh, Castleford won last week. Uh, obviously, not from six in the league. Uh, Warrington won and Catalans won. That's the uh, challenge cut from last week. And you've got more games in the Betfred, which is this weekend. Hull KR taken on Hull FC, Ooh. which is the massive local derby. Sixth place taken on 10th. And the big one, which when I was a little bit younger, if you remember, added me pubs, St. Helens taken on Wigan. That is the big one. It's always Easter. St. Helens, Wigan, yeah, always okay. have on Easter. That will be big and fiery, really, really well. So third place, St. Helens, good luck to them, taking on second place, Wigan. Come on, Hull FC. My brother-in-law's brother a big Hull FC fan. You mean... Uh, Doug, Doug. Doug, yeah, he yeah, is. yeah, of course he is, isn't he? So I didn't yeah. know it was a derby today. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you put the football on? We've got a bit of CD Tenerife going to come in now. Soccer. 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 Can right. you call it that? Yeah, we can. Before um, before we go to CD Tenerife, um, two little things just want to talk about. Because the football show was yesterday with me and Big Simon. If you haven't watched that, please go on catch up. You've got all Easter. I think it's an absolutely great show. The knowledge this man Simon has is nobody's business. He really, really is. Terry, my number two, couldn't make it yesterday because of obviously family commitments. And when the three of us are on board, I'm not trying to... Um, self praise, recommend no recommendation, but the two boys I've got on Terry, my number two, and some of my number three. What they don't know about football is not worth knowing, they are just absolutely fantastic. All I do is I ask a question, and away they go. I think we could take Roy Keane, Michael Richards, 
Jamie Callagher. I could, we could take them to the cleaners. I really, really do. So we're going to try and get this show bigger and worldwide. I'd love to take them on. Them over there, up, us over here, and we have a question and answers. Them three Muppets against us three Muppets. And I'll tell you what, we'll beat them. Beat them. So get your comments to Tolly, please, and let, let us know what you think on that one. Two little things about football. I want you to, there's a, a, a top professional football goalie watches my channel. I'm going to say, Tim, get Mr. Buckland on, please. See what he says. No. Yeah. Webby Sports Roundup, Jack Butland here. Just wanted to say, keep up all the great work with the podcast out there in sunny Tenerife. Um, all the best for me. Take care. It's coming. Oh, it's finished. I, I, can, I haven't got... I, what I'm going to have to do is get yourself a big television camera up there, a TV, and I can see us so I know exactly what we're doing. Cheers, Jack. Thank you very much, Lee. And believe me, I do not know why you are not in the England squad on the basis you got Pickford. You got Ramsdale, who don't play for Arsenal. You know what I mean? Didn't even play any of the other two um, on the squad when we played Brazil and Belgium in the um, games, friendly games on Saturday and Tuesday last week. So what is Southgate doing? Some people like Southgate, and um, most people don't like Southgate. Anyway, it is what it is. So Pickford, get it sorted. Let's get him in the England squad. Deserves a chance. Um, Tony. Yeah. A little bit of Alonso, um, played for Liverpool, cracking yeah. midfielder. Yeah, he's the manager of Bayern Leverkusen. Yes, who are undefeated in thirty-eight matches. Incredible. They they've got a chance of um, the treble. They're playing a second division club or like a championship club in their um, German Cup final. All right. They've got a chance in the Europa Cup. Yeah, and they've got to win the league. Bayern Munich must be thinking, and <laughs> Dortmund must be thinking, what is happening this year? Well, Harry Kane probably is as well. Of course, because <laughs> Harry Kane, obviously, and Eric Dyer. They've got a they've got um, a game against Bayern Munich, I think, against Tottenham uh, in the close season in August. Yeah. Oh, probably, right. I'm assuming, for charity. But, but this thing with Alonso. Um, yeah. Liverpool were hoping to get him, but they've actually said now, we're not going to pursue that. And like, do you know why? I think they know they haven't got no chance of getting him, so they're just going to cut yeah. it short. And I think what he's going to do, learn the game. Don't jump from a small ship to a big ship. Yeah. Because obviously Liverpool, obviously fan base wise, like your Real Madrid's are a far bigger uh, club than Bayern Munich. And then Bayer Leverkusen, sorry. Yeah. And I think he has, if he stays there one more year and wins the league again, oh. I think Real Madrid will be the club that he probably will go to. Maybe he has a long-term plan. You're right. Uh, I remember him playing uh, in for Real Madrid, and he's a uh, he's yep. a hero there. So yeah, he is. It's a good shout for him to go there. And when he finished playing there, and then he went to back to his Basque country, and yep, he, he managed did. Real Sociedad, Sociedad. B, uh, for a while. We saw him play in the Eliodoro, or not play, manage in the Eliodoro. His yeah. brother played for Tenerife, Mikel Alonso. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, for a, a year or two. Okay. And uh, so yeah, good luck to him. But he, I think he's staying at Leverkusen. All I'm hearing now, but, but that will yeah. be a big blow for Liverpool. Uh, who do you get now for them? I don't know. That's what I'm, I don't even know who's in the running. To but I've not even no. checked the betting. Or, or well, whatever. a guy from Brighton is yeah. in the running. He was on so the He's morning. in the running to be the new Barcelona manager as well. Is so. he? I like him. Yeah, I yeah. don't know who if he would choose between the two. Big, <laughs> big shout, probably Barcelona. So. Well, they're two massive clubs, aren't yeah, they? They really, 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 really are. Right, let's, uh, let's sort out our CD Tenerife, um, Tim. I think we've got uh, a nice video coming up where Chris Todd went across to um, Espanol, which is the club within Madrid. Barcelona. Barcelona, beg your pardon. 200 fans went over. Uh, 400 went over a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. You went We're to travelling well this season, despite yeah. everything. But clubs... They don't. They bring... don't. Man, but remember, they they have to pay the extra flight money. We get the discount, the resident discount, and they so don't. It's a lot cheaper. No, the uh, mainlanders don't get the discounts. Come here. Oh, they, they have to pay full price. So you're looking at maybe uh -huh. four hundred euros for a flight plus hotels. It's too expensive for a lot of them. Do you know but we I do didn't... get like twenty or thirty away fans most matches. I didn't know that. That's yeah. that's news. Yeah, yeah, that's it's too much. If they're going if they're going to do away games, they're going to do one that's two hundred kilometers away or yeah, yeah. or and they can drive or get a coach. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh so Okay. Any comments? Um, but I think what we'll do is um, a small little video that um, Chris done last week on last week's performance. So 
if Tim could play the little video and we'll have a little chat about Tenerife straight after the video, please, Tim. Welcome everyone to Webby Sports Roundup from the Espanyol Stadium in Barcelona. A group of us uh, flew over to watch Tenerife uh, play against Espanyol and we drew 1-1 with a last minute equaliser which felt like a winner. We're staying mid-table so the result wasn't that important for us but for Espanyol it was a big blow because they were third in the league before so they could have gone into the direct promotion area. Uh, there's just over 21,000 uh, at the match. Um, it's a lovely stadium inside. The atmosphere we thought was a bit flat considering where Espanyol were. Maybe they expect to go straight back up, but they're going to be struggling if they uh, they don't get that buzz going in their in their fan base. Anyway, there was about 200 Tenerife fans. We enjoyed it. We were singing our hearts out for the whole game. Uh, we're flying back to Tenerife for now. Cheers, Toddy, for that. Uh, looks as if it was um, a nice, uh, a nice weekend break. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, always enjoy the away games, even when we lose, which there's been quite a few of those. That was my 45th trip to the mainland watching CD Tenerife. 45. Ah, uh, well, I've seen, only seen four wins. No, 10 percent. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. Is it that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there has been a few good draws in that in, involved in that 45. And uh, last uh, Saturday. That was a good draw because uh, equalising in the last minute against Espanyol, big club, they in were the they went second in the league. Yeah. Uh, even with a draw, they went second. So uh, it's a big blow for them. For us, we're mid table. We're not really going anywhere now this season. But you said that Espanyol, the it was twenty twenty one thousand crowd. Yeah. But the atmosphere was like yeah. a morgue. It's strange. Be, well, I wasn't uh, like a morgue. Oh, but, no, but you know, uh, it wasn't buzzing as such. But you expect this time of year, the uh, clubs in the top six. The fans are really getting behind the team, and yeah. but they were just like uh, just waiting for something to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than I don't know if things are a hundred percent there with okay. uh, the club and the fans and the players. Uh, it's okay. not a United ship, so right. They're a big club, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go up. Okay, right. This little bit about City Tenerife itself. Yeah. We're mid table now. We're not going up. We're not no, going down. It, no. Um, uh, mathematically, we can do the. Two, but do the two, but yeah, I don't I'm, think so. No, 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 for sure. Is all our players back now? The injuries and so forth. Yeah, well, we have two that are out for the season now. Yeah, uh, but every team has to cope with that. Okay. So more or less full full squad. Yeah. How many sort of players do you think will be will be leaving at the end of the season? Well, good about half of them, I would have thought. Maybe, half. yeah, half about the squad, maybe eight or nine will be leaving. Yeah, okay, and, and obviously no, but we want them to leave. You want their surplus to requirements, basically. Yeah, say. yeah, or and, they're out of contract and okay. they're leaving. Yeah. And we know the managers go in. Um, yeah. Do we know who's coming in, or do we have any idea? No, there's a few on the rumor mill, but uh, I don't think any of the Japanovic was rumored. Uh, the ex Fulham boss, but obviously, he was oh. a, a great player here in the nineties. Okay. Philosopher Slavica Yeah, yeah. Uh, but his his wage uh, demands are too high. But okay. we have contacted him. We'll see. Uh, we'll Rafa like Benitez was put. The name was put about, but yeah. making his comeback to Tenerife, but his wage. He left Celta Vigo. He was sacked a few weeks ago. Celta Vigo, yeah. he, he was on nine million euros for three year uh, stint. Nine million. Not, not nine million a year. No, nine million. Three, well, three, three million three, a year. Three. Yeah. Oh, dear three me. year contract. Oh, dear so me. it's obviously way beyond our potential. Oh, oh. Well, it ain't going to could play, pay about a million uh, a season maximum yeah. for anyone, a manager or player. Maximum. 20, maximum. 20 grand a week. Yeah. 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 Something like that. And That's still not bad, is it? Well, it's good for likes of me and you, but not for these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't you put me in your bracket, son. Do with me. Well. I'd love to be a pound beyond your bank balance. That's oh, right. Yeah. Hey, or is it the other way around? Sorry. The other way around. Hey, listen, listen, it's a bit windy. You can hear that. You can hear all the chairs uh, moving. Blind. You, no, they can't hear. But if if you we were can. here, we can hear everything. There's lots yeah. of chairs moving. The wind is absolutely unbelievable. But you, you know, let's. Uh, so. so this is the end. The wind is the end of. Um, in the tail when it took, it went through last night it was raining for about an hour yeah yeah i don't know down here but in the hills where i live okay we had a good hour of rain which is we need the rain so it's okay good in a way yeah well if you just tuned in webby sports right up here in sunny tenerife a lot of wind uh oh, i'm gonna bring this... let blue eyes john come on in a couple of minutes time but this is chris todd he is the general of the armada sir and you've been watching tenny for th how many years oh since 1989 1989 and the games have you missed 
Oh, not a handful in that time. Oh, only missed handful. Yeah. That's what he called a proper, proper fan. Have we got any comments coming on there, big man? Before we go to horse racing, Lee Sobot, uh, it, is a, it is the Yorkshire Evening Post. Fatty, come up in two minutes' time. Steve Sturton, morning, Webby. Morning, Steve. Big teddy bear. Um, Buckland, yes or no, son? I think yes. Yeah. Anybody else? Well, uh, because he plays, this is about Buckland in the SPL. Yeah. South, Southgate won't wander across the border. Terrible. The thing is, no. the, the thing is, as far as I'm concerned, I was talking about it to Simon yesterday on the show. Now, you're a goalie, you're between the sticks, okay? Yeah. All you've got to do is stop what's coming to you. <laughs> and that's what he does. He's had a great season for Rangers. They've got a great chance of winning the SPL. So what does it matter whether you're in the Premier League, the Championship, or whether you're in the SPL of um, of Scotland? All you, all you can do is do your job. Yeah. Celtic and Rangers, one of them two are going to win the SPL. Either one can do it. Um, they have... Um, I just, I've, I've, I've just gone It back. depends what Southgate's after. I mean, you need, you need a commanding figure as the goalkeeper who's going to command his area and yeah. play, he has to play with his feet these days but as pick, well. Would he kick up a pick? Pick for pick it. can't. Really. I, don't, I don't think he's that fantastic. And he plays them all the time, doesn't he? And the other two, in one of you, uh, they never even got on for 10 minutes, did they? Uh, no. Against Brazil in Belgium. I thought it's just the great. weak area of England, I think, going into the Euros. Because years, years ago, we used to have, obviously, Seaman, Clement, oh. Corrigan. There were one, you know what I mean? Peter Shilton. Peter Shilton, fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, we're spoiled there. Oh, we were really, really spoiled. Spain are spoiled in the goalkeeping area. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they have a fantastic defence. I think one of the best. The midfield, Rodri, and they've got some creative genius there with the new, you know, that young lad from Barcelona, Barcelona. Yamal. Yeah, yeah. 16. I mean, what a, a prospect he is. Up front, they're lacking, though. Uh, the centre forward, uh, yeah. the guy from uh, Atletico, Morata, I, I, I Morata. can't stand. Too old now. And I the Ozelu from Real Madrid, 33. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not good enough to, for them to win the Euros no. with that strike. OK, all right, Tony, let's, uh, let's move the sport on. If you just tuned into Webby Sports Radio, if you subscribe, subscribe for free. Comments down below and go on to our Facebook page, please. And uh, give Foggy some love. We're going to do the horse racing. Then what we do, I'm going to give the bars and restaurants a big shout in a couple of minutes' time. So let's get the horse racing on, uh, please, uh, Mr. Dowd. Saturday, we've got Brentford Hope in the 2 -0. Pardon? It's not a tip, it's a fancy from Lee Sobot. Exactly, so that's the guy you introduced now. Oh, I did. I said to you 25 times. All right, sorry. Don't get chucking your dummy out with me, son. Hey, unbelievable. Right, Lee Sobot, as I said, he is the um, Yorkshire Evening Post, massive Leeds United fan. This is his fancy of the week. He needs a winner. He's dipped in the last few weeks. Uh, and what he's um, tipped up is Brentford Hope. He's a big favourite man in the 205 at Haydock. 5-2 to two favourite at the moment. Consistent horse who won nicely last time and looks clearly the one to beat in this. Although, would be a bit worried about Playful Saint, 92 second favourite with Dan Skelton, who's having a fantastic season. Sh Are in? Harry Skelton, Dan Skelton, chasing the trainer's title, but Mildham beat him last time and now reopposes. Could be close again between that duo, but Brentford Hope might just be better than them both. We'll have to wait and see. But before we leave the horse racing, met a nice gentleman called Brian from Beverly in a Monte Cristo a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he tuned in. I think he's on this morning. And um, so maybe I've got a few contacts up in Yorkshire and Beverly. Um, well, I'll keep that quiet, who they are. Anyway, he gave us a horse last week uh, within an hour. And I banged it on the show. Uh, did a little video. Boom, boom. Anyway, last of first, um, four to one winner. Absolute quite. If it was, uh, was it Johnson and... Kieran Fallon, I think it's Kieran Fallon was a jockey, my favourite jockey. He could pick up horse like his dad and take him over the line. Four to one winner, fantastic. He messaged me last night. He said, maybe I had one for tomorrow, which was today, but they take him out as a non-runner. Obviously, the weather conditions is obviously poor up in Yorkshire, wherever they're um, running today. So um, stay tuned. May get the odd little fancy during the week. So just stay tuned in to Webby Sports Radio on the horse racing side of things. Right. Um, any comments there, um, Toddy, please? Well, yes. Uh, I hope Southgate goes to United, says Charlie. And I then I replied, so they keep, so they lose. 
Well, and Lol is a big Man City fan, if oh, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I said, of course, Chris, Lol. Okay, lots of, <laughs> yeah. Any more? Vinny M, count to 10, Tim. Remember all the money he pays you, Lol. Oh, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. You're talking, you're talking rubbish, son. You're talking rubbish. The general me... knows his stuff. Yeah, who's that, who's that from? Yeah, Leicester. Leicester. Leicester Bangs. Oh, oh, yeah, that, yeah. Was it you? Yeah, no, it wasn't. Oh, you, 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 did you put a note on yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you? No, no. Only won't be desert shut it, you know, I'll tell you. Uh, right, keep talking, because I've got to find this. Uh, the general what? is fantastic. That comes from Chris Todd. Oh, you've done that one as well, have you? No, only joking, no. Oh, no, yeah. Right, yeah. let's have a look. No, right. there's a few coming in, yes. Go on, they keep yeah. talking, they keep um, talking. Um, morning, the... Webby, Steve Certain. Morning, boys, Mark Wiltshire. Morning, Mark. How are you, Macker? Charlie said, massive game on Sunday. Can't wait. Come on, the Blues. Man City, it's I'll be in here. City I'll be here in the three horseshoes in Webby's corner watching it. Massive game. Zaragoza, Tenerife on Sunday. Oh, Zaragoza. 3.15. 3.15. Yeah. Big, big club, Zaragoza. Very similar to Tenerife this season. Started fantastically. Top of the table. They won their first five matches. They thought they were going up. Yeah. We were top of the table. And then since November, it's gone down. They're on their third manager. Uh, so it's bad times for them, but they're still getting the crowd. So right, they, found it. They, found deserve, it, they deserve to go up, really. Okay, they? right. Let's give before we go over to uh, we've done, so we've done the horse racing. We're going to go golf next, uh, Tim. But before we do that, got some big shout outs um, for the people that go on our post on Webby Sports Trainer with Foggy. Right, bar shout outs. Big shout out to the Galway girl. That's me pal Joe, Irish Joe. Over there in Porto Cologne. What a lovely, lovely fella. They post every day Webby Sports Runner. So big shout out to you, Joe. Top, top man. Um, what else have we got? We've got um we've got the Scallywags. That's just up the road. We've got Hopping Grapes, my pal Mark, who has that uh, pub uh, where I did the uh, work in the um Chel uh, Chels Cheltenham a couple of weeks ago. Air of the Dog. I think the Air of the Dog is up in Sunset Bay. A big shout out to you. Uh, a new subscriber, as I did say, Hamisher Football Club. They're called Kurt Barton. This is when the this is the and they are from Huddersfield. That's the one with the red, the red and black stripes. I think um, Tim. If I send you a pic, maybe Tim will show it as you're speaking. So, I think so. Yeah. Can you bang that one on? The I think the one in red. Oh, here we go. So that's the team. That's the uh, AFC Kurt Barton from Huddersfield. All right, good lads, what a boys and girls. Uh, right, okay, a other shout out. Uh, I said to him, I said, is this a real name? He said, maybe it's a real name. Bob Marley, real name. This is people that follow and new subscribers and new people on Facebook. Big shout out to Bob Marley, Philip Robinson, John McWhorter and Daniel Lowe. Thank you and to everyone again. We really appreciate your support. And of course, last but not least, Billy Mitchell's brother, Farron. As we said, I did that early, early uh, before. Right, let's have a look. That's done that, done that, done that, done that. If I've missed you, I do apologise. It is what it is. It's just one of, of them things, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Bit of golf news. Um, Alan Homemade Blogs. Okay, I'm on there now. Homemade. I keep saying blogs, vlogs. I've got to get the V in. Now, Alan... It's it, the same. the same, is it? Okay, all right. I'll stick with blogs then. Thanks. Um, Alan Homemade Vlogs is logistics manager for the Open Championship up there in Royal Troon from the 14th to the 21st of July. But he lives opposite the course. He's got his own little van compartment and what have you. He's, got, he's sorting it all out from now. And we're doing various videos from now right up until, until July. And he's in partnership with me doing an absolute fantastic job. We've already put a couple of videos up. If you're into golf, which there are a lot of people are, and I'm trying to get to a lot more people in the golfing situation, they love it. Even if you're a sporty person and you don't follow golf so much, everybody wants to see the Open Championship, wherever it is, over here in Britain. And this year again, it's in Royal True, where it was back in, I think, 2016. And um, Alan and myself are going to do a little competition where you can win a prize. Might get a couple of prizes, so we'll see what we can do. So if you want to follow that, Alan's homemade vlogs. Okay, please subscribe to him and follow him and follow to me as well. So, Alan, super. And I think we've got a little video coming up um, 
Tim, do us a favour, put Alan on. Thank you, Brian. What can we do? Uh, uh, more, um... Morning, Webby. Hi, everybody. This is Alan from Alan's Homemade Vlogs. I'm here on location at Royal Troon Golf Club for Webby Sports Tenerife, sunny Tenerife. Webby Sports, can't beat it. Join in. But anyway, I'm going to be the roving reporter at Royal Troon. This is early days, but you'll see in front of me the trackway for the contractor's compound and also the segregation for each contractor is starting to take place. You've got the Harris fencing there. We've got some major pipe work getting done up on the back of the screen there. And also we've got some more earthworks getting done round to my left there we go and that's all again contractors compound and also the contractors cafe that's going to be installed there soon but anyway remember tune in to webby sports roundup sunny tenerife and i'll give you as many updates as i possibly can this is the second day of construction so you can see we're coming on at pace but anyway until the next time Remember, tune in, like, subscribe to Webby's channel and you can give mine a look as well. It's Alan's Homemade Vlogs. But until then, this is Alan reporting from Royal Troon Golf Club for Webby's Sports Roundup in sunny Tenerife. Cheers, Alan. Thanks for that. I'm sure... Um... You'll enjoy that uh, all, and all the new videos between now and come up in July. He's going to try and get one or two little videos with uh, the players as well, which is fantastic. So that's in partnership, Alan, Homemade Vlogs, and obviously Webby Sports Roundup, which is going to be called, as you already know, Webby's Hole in One Show. That's what's happening. Right. Big shout out to the Three Old Shoes, to Jason and Judy. Let us use the uh, premises this morning because we're usually in Laura's, but because of the wind and so forth, they have only got a small inside. Um, then what the situation is that uh, they've got people eating breakfast. So I said, we'll come up and use Jason and Julius. Now, if you want to watch the football, this is my football pub. If you can look uh, behind me on my right-hand side, today we've got a lot of championship games where you can see Millwall, West Brom, Cardiff, Sunderland, Norwich, Plymouth, Blackburn, Ipswich, and the big one tonight, which is Watford against Leeds United. Now, I'm going to get this man over for two seconds. So, Blue Walls, John, come here. This, this, he, he didn't know I was going to do that. I'm just going to do it. So, come on for two yes. seconds, John. All right. Now, listen, you got what? This is Blue Walls, John. Yep. One of me good, good pals. All right. One of me good, good pals. Look after him if I can. And a big shout out to Tony and your grandson, Toby. Toby. So, Tony and Toby, this is for you. This is your granddad. He's okay. We're looking after him. <laughs> Big game tonight. Watford, Leeds United. You're top of the table. You're going to Vicarage Road. Do you think you're going to get three points tonight, big man? We've got to. Hey? We've got to. You've got to. Yeah. And the other games, again, the teams are... They're, they're, all, they're all fighting this today, aren't they? All, three teams. Yeah. The table, all the way from home. Yeah. They've all got to do well. Because you've got Ipswich Town. Uh, West Brom are a fifth at the moment, and Leicester City away to Bristol City. The thing is with Bristol City, it all depends which side of the bed they get up. They could play superb or they could be poor. I think that's, an, that's um, a must game for them to win. But if they don't win or they only draw, that will give Leeds the impetus to go, I think, four points clear then. Yeah, we've well, uh, got to wait till eight o'clock. Yeah, I know. The games are early, aren't yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, they haven't put them all together. No. But you can't. It's it's a, it's the league situation. You know, obviously, it's rights, it's Sky Sports, it's, Sky it's Sports. money and everything else. Are you going to win the league, son? Yes. Look, Leeds United. Are you going to win? Hey, yes. there's a lot of Leeds fans around here, isn't there? There are a few. Hey, what two of you in there? <laughs> right, listen, John. Thank you for that, mate. The other right. thing is a good shout for Cheshire United. At the top of the. Oh, hang on, hang on. Go on. Who you want to shout out? Cheshire United. Where, where's Chesham? Where's Chesham? In Buckinghamshire. Oh, is it? Bu oh, Bosch. Hometown. Is that your hometown? They're um, top of the pitching in Premiership League. So. Are they? And they're top? Yeah. Okay. About a few, quite a few points clear at the moment. And Yeah, and they're going to win the league? Yeah, they're going to win that league, yeah. Uh, Chesham United. Oh, they do. But it's, but it's, listen, we're going to have to get them on the long league. <laughs> I've already got Hendon and uh, Chatham. We're going to talk about them in a couple of minutes' time. I think they're playing Hayes today. Oh, they got Hayes, yeah? I think uh, Hayes, yeah. Okay. 
Right, let's have a look, let's see what we got. So don't forget, that's your football, and tomorrow is the Premiership uh, over here in the Three Horseshoes, down here in Monte Cristo up there where, where I use, and I do the Three Horseshoes for the football. Big games tomorrow, Newcastle, West Ham, and you can see Spurs, Luton, Chelsea, Burnley, Rangers against Hibs, staying top good, back top of the table if they beat Hibs at home, Bournemouth, Everton, Villa Wolves at 530 and Brentford taking on Manchester United, my second team, as they all say. So it is, I need to go more to shut up. Some right. questions coming in. Big questions. Here we go. Uh, around the grounds, do they ever do ground tours at CD Tenerife? Okay, so they that's been one of our big questions over many years about doing tours of the grounds. They don't yet do for like the man on the street or the woman on the street or the uh, tourists, but they have started doing all school children on the on the island are kept having a tour of the stadium and the training facilities, the new sports city. It is something in uh, in uh, coming in the future. So yeah. watch this space. Yeah. And another question was from Leicester, which said, "How much are match tickets and season tickets for CD Tenerife?" Okay, we pay 125 euros behind the goal. Uh, for the whole season, uh, a bono season ticket, and it goes up to 360 in the main stand. The match tickets are 15 euros behind the goal, up to 35 in the main stand. So the average price is about 20 at the side and 25 in the in the other end. So it's the cheapest football in in Europe, really. Can so nothing in it, 20 quid in it. No, 20 euros. So that's 20 euros, big your point. 15, 15 quid. Behind the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's nothing in it. Yeah. Okay. Any more comments? Uh, Heineken incoming for Webby. We are Leeds. Heineken? Five pound. Pardon? He sent five pound in. Who's Heineken that? incoming for Webby. All right. Cheers, Andy. Andy Bye, your Heineken. Big, a big yeah. Leeds United fan. He's coming in August, I think. And um, he pay, I was going to pay the money for um, the Leeds United football. That we had on auction. So, morning, Andy. How are you, big man? I'll have a couple of beers on you tonight on uh, Tim's Living with Living with the MS in Tenerife. If you want to see me again, which surely once today is enough, Living with MS in Tenerife on Tim's show tomorrow uh, tonight at five to six. Get on it and subscribe. Okay. Prediction, prediction please, Webby, on Forest versus Palace tomorrow. Well, I, I listen. We have um, my number two, Terry. Does it? Um, does he? Does the predictions? Uh, no. um, we talked about it last night and we said that we think that's going to be probably a boring game, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. we well, we don't. I think you said, well, I said nil nil. I something like that. Yeah. Forrest, I, this, the end of this season is going to be very messy with all these court hearings. Well, looks you, like you, Everton could be losing another four points. I, I don't know. Look, we know what's going to happen is the Euros will be on and it'll be mid June and there'll be fans outside courtrooms waiting to see if they stay up or not. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. There'll be celebrations of or not, outside courtrooms. It won't happen on the pitch, I bet you. Well, the bottom three in the Prem, you know, I think Burnley, Sheffield United are definitely doomed. No. And you can go up to Nottingham Forest um, and down. So, And there's a few clubs within that. Um, I hope Luton there. stay up because I know a few Luton fans and they deserve to be there. We all do. They cannot keep uh, conceding like that, that game at Bournemouth when they're 3-0 up. If they, they concede four in the they second half. three. I mean, they're not going to stay up like that. Well, they beat Coventry in the playoffs last year. I think we should have, but it's one of them things. So yeah. I want Luton. And I've got a lot of Luton fans. You know, Ian from Dunstable. Uh, Dunstable? Barstable? Dun yeah, he's Dunstable, I think he is. So big shout out to uh, me, pal, Ian. Uh, right, let's go off to um, Division 2. Massive games today. Um, my pal Graham Mathias, massive Wrexham fan, home and away. He usually sends me a long six-minute vlog. I said, Gray, do me a favour. Nice and short. Because uh, what's happening today, three o'clock kickoff. It's on Sky Sports. Mansfield, top of the table, 39 games, 73 points. Wrexham are third, 39, 70, uh, 70 points, three points behind. But Mansfield do have a far superior goal difference. And that's the game today. Mansfield, Wrexham, massive game. So we've got a little video from Graham all the way from Wrexham. Do us a favour, Gray. Take it away, son. Hi Webby, as we approach the business end of the season, it's time for a quick update from the racecourse ground at Wrexham. For a few weeks it's looked as if the top three clubs were enjoying themselves so much in League 2 that none of them wanted to get promoted, which has seen some very unexpected results as all three teams struggled to find the consistency needed to secure an automatic promotion place. None more so than Wrexham, who with one of the most impressive home records in the league, ended up dropping a vital five points at the racecourse in the space of a week, 
against the dour but effective Harrogate team and a determined local adversary in Tramier. Thankfully, last Saturday saw normal service resumed, with a comfortable 3-1 victory away to Grimsby, a result and performance which should provide confidence for the coming final eight games. Those games start with the visit to Mansfield on Good Friday, a real bank holiday six-pointer, and a game in which Wrexham hope to reproduce the level of performance which saw them go to field mill and secure a 2-1 win to dump Mansfield out of the FA Cup earlier this season. After that, we have equally difficult games to come against the likes of Crewe, an informed Crawley side, culminating in a final day head-to-head -head against Stockport County. But with a few of our more influential players, such as George Evans, Tom O'Connor and James McLean, back from injury and suspension, there's a growing belief around the city that a first double promotion celebration is still on the cards. I want to end by giving a big mention to our goal-scoring talisman, Paul Mullin, who in just three sh is just three short of scoring 100 goals for Wrexham in his first three seasons with the club. He's already into the top 10 of the club's all-time leading goal scorers, but to hit 100 goals in such a short period for any club would be some feat. It's just a short update from me today, but just leaves me enough time to give a big shout out to Webby for inviting me to provide it. And remember, if you like what you hear and like what you see, subscribe today to Webby Sports Roundup from Sunny Tenerife. It's free on YouTube, bringing the very latest sports chat and gossip. So until next time, Jochen Vauer, Pascal Hapis. Cheers for that, uh, Graham. Wrexham Football Club. Listen, you never know. Get into Division 1 with all the big money from the American boys, the film actors and what have you. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to get a couple of comments um, from Toddy. Then you've got a couple of things he wants to say about women's football. <laughs> My God, big shout out to Simon, my number three. We haven't missed your um, your comments, big man. So Simon is going to be in his house on his own. You do not want to be around three miles from where he lives because Arsenal need to not lose against Man City. It's a massive game at the Etihad. Man City taking on Arsenal. So at the end of the day, good luck to Simon with Arsenal taking on Manchester City. Right, any more? There's a few more comments coming in, Toddy. Yes, uh, Simon Utter. Let's hope the Arsenal turn up on Sunday. That's what I just said. And uh, Lester Bangs, cheers, General, about the information. Boom, boom, come on the yellows. Sarah that, Child. Yeah, Norwich City. R Vinny M, shout out for Ron Corn Linux for a win against Nantwich Town today. Oh, a bit of non-league coming in here, haven't we said, yeah? NPL, West Division. OK, North Premier League. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. So, and all, come on the shots from Chris Todd playing Maidenhead away today. Oh, the shot. Yeah, because you're yeah. a big order shot. Big, fan, big yeah. game, yeah. Okay, right. We're in the playoffs. Now, the there's a, a couple of little things you want to say about Joey Barter before we go well, on. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've been watching a few things on Joey Barter. Right, I'm not awoke by any stretch of the imagination, but I do need to stick up a bit for women's football because some of his comments, I think, have been. It's just he's taken it too far now, he, and he's. Uh, criticisms of it Te you know Tenerife have got the team Costa Deca they've been playing playing in the top yeah. league of the Spanish women's uh, division for many years now yeah. it's all positive they're getting you know the crowds there it's uh it keeps the people interested in sport and people playing sport CD Tenerife have formed a team they're in the third level they might be going up to the second level playing in the national leagues yeah, yeah. people in mainland follow them about wherever they play Super. they get fan clubs following them uh, it's all positive things, and uh, so I, I don't see why he keeps going on about yeah. how bad the, the sport. If they, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Chelsea, um, then they win um, against Ajax. They were they were yeah. three 0 away, one one at home. So that's four one on four one on um, on aggregate. Yes, um, um, I think that they played Barcelona in the semi-finals. Yeah, the Champions League. Yeah, They're the champions. Uh, well, are they going to be Barcelona down? play here? Uh, they played against Costa Deca yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Are they uh, Chelsea got a chance? No, not really. Barcelona oh. far better than anyone in Spain and probably anyone in Europe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you never know on the on the day. But no, no, uh, no. no I just think it's a it's a good thing to have uh, yeah. women's football. It's it would never be bigger hey. than when. 
in the in a decker next to the sports centre. Yeah, opposite that the big stadium there. Oh, you mean not T three? You you by the. Um... Uh, well, apparently, as the rumour is that T3 are building a special stadium for the women's uh, team. You mean uh, the one by the crematorium? Yeah. In the middle of a decade? Yeah, that, the yeah. main shop football ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they play there. They, 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 it only holds 2,000, but they okay. get the crowds in. And it's all it's all good. So okay. I don't know why he keeps knocking it, really. OK, right. Let's go to that. Stay on the football. Let's go to my two non-league clubs that I follow from the start of the season. First and foremost, Hendon Football Club. Uh, as everybody knows now, my good pal Ian Allenson, ex, um, ex-Arsenal, 18, 90 times, scored plenty of goals against Tottenham and everything else, as he says. So, morning, Ian, and his son, Lee, who is the manager there, and Ian Allenson is the general manager. So, I always check up on what they've done over the past seven days. Last week, they took on Winchester and beat them by two goals to one at home. Bit of a mid-table game. Uh, so... They're not going to go up. They're not going to go down. They're just getting ready again for next season. So good luck to Hendon. Uh, they also play in the uh, London Senior Cup. And they played Sporting Bengal this week and beat them by two goals to one. Now, they're 1-0 down. They got into injury time. Two goals in the 91st and the 93rd minute uh, by Brosnan and Leonard. Uh, it was an awful game. Weather was absolutely terrible with a crowd of 105. 905,000, 105. That's the London Senior Cup, and they will play either Cray Wanderers or Dartford in the semi final. So good luck to Hendon Football Club. A little bit of now they're in the Southern League Premier South. Let's move on to the Isthmian Premier League. We follow Chatham, Big Gary, Big West Ham, and all the boys I saw a few weeks ago in the Hopping Grapes. Their big followers are there. They're second at the moment uh, in the league. They're not going to catch top of the table and I'm trying to I think it could be Hornchurch I'm not too uh, sure but they're second in the league they took on Haringey Borough and they beat them by two goals to one who were 20th and they play away to Grays this weekend so that's your update on the non-league on Hendon Football Club and the Isthmian League of Chatham Town Football Club um it's got a little bit of darts, uh, very, very quickly. I think Blue Eyes John saw uh, the darts last. Every Thursday, what they do, they have a league. It's the top eight. And you've got Humphreys, who was the world champion. He took on Littler, who's only 17 years of age. An absolute sensation this year. He really, really is. He beat the world champion, Humphreys, 6-5 in the quarterfinals. Then he took on Van Gerwen, the man from Holland with a bald head. Nothing wrong with a bald head. He beat him 6-3. Then he took on Aspelon in the final. He was 1-0 up, 3-1 down, and he went 6-4. So he won 6-4 at Belfast, and he is second in the league. That's his first win, but he's had a lot of semi-finals, a lot of finals. He couldn't get over the line until last night, and Humphreys won three on the bounce. So now it's getting a little bit tighter in the World Darts League. Right. Look at that. You know when I do that? That's that. It's all going to be in the next couple of minutes just saying thank you for this, thank you for... If I've missed anybody, I do apologise. We're going to go straight back to Toddy. We're going to see how many more comments are going to um, come on, Toddy. So please give your comments out. Uh, well, I said good luck to the uh, team from Runcorn Linnets. And Vinny said cheers. My cousin is the, the goalkeeper. My oh. cousin's lad is the goalkeeper. Oh, superb, superb. Well done. Uh, Good luck to you. Tricia Slater. Yeah. Morning, Webby. Morning, Trish. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it for now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've so we done well on the comments. Well, have you, yeah. I, the trouble is, it's a Friday morning, as people know. All right. A lot of people still working, ir ir irrespective, and they will do a lot of catch up. So 43 people, absolutely fantastic. That's a great listen. If I can get 30 to 50 people every week, over the next few months, and we build it up slowly but surely, then I'll be very, very happy with that. Not everybody's sport, but the poison question is, it's an ad lib, it's a bit of fun, it's have the crack, take the mick at everybody. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, we're getting old. Nobody's as old as me. Uh, I thought I was the oldest uh, vlogger in town, but then Tenerife Tez came on, and um, Steve from the North, North Tenerife, man, he's older than me. Unbelievable. So I got the bronze medal for that, didn't I? Um, I just look the oldest, yeah, and I feel the oldest sometimes. Listen, it's a happy Easter to all my viewers. First and foremost, my family, to my daughter, Kerry Rachel Webb. Happy Easter, sweetheart. I'll see you in May. 
Sienna Lee, to my little boy Luca, and to Demi, who's only a few months old. Love you loads. Happy Easter, kids. Uh, and to Jack, the father. More than Jack. Love you too, big man. I'm not forgetting my son, Lee Paul James Webb, with Natalie. And I've got Ava Grace, their daughter. And we've got another grandchild coming next month in April. So that'll be number five. Dear me, what is this? I've got to start working to start earning to pay over the kids. Happy Easter, kids. Love you loads. And I'll speak to you over the weekend. Toddy, do you want to say hello to anybody before we go? Well, a big shout out to everyone that travelled over to watch the game last week in Barcelona. There was uh, 25 of us. Uh, some came from the UK to support Tenerife. Uh, Pete, the Everton fan and, and his friends, the Stag do. There was 10 of them. Super. Uh, the three Welsh lads from... Um, but Mer Mertha Tidville. Mertha Tidville. Kid fans, yeah. Uh, they didn't actually get into the ground. That's ah. a different story. Oh, well, yeah, okay. I'd Why? Feel, Why? Well, it's all paid for. They had the e-tickets on the phone. And apparently when you got to the uh, turnstile, you had to produce your passport as well. Which oh, they never did. They didn't have them on them. Other people were scrambled to get they had a, a photo maybe or someone from the UK sent it over yeah yeah because if it's spanish people or residents we always have to have the id on us otherwise yeah you could be in trouble you know yes, 100 you have, you have the id on yeah, you yeah so you just show it and go in but it was not stipulated that you had to do that uh, okay. when you're yeah. going in so they they missed the game unfortunately right. so a big shout out to them but they're they're going they haven't lost faith okay and ev and um everyone that supports tenerife my family and yeah everyone generally super yeah. john do you want to say hello to anybody before we go big man all the tenerife supporters we're oh. going tonight <laughs> hey <laughs> go on Leeds united a big one okay go up to the uh, the palms bar up there in san Eugenio. big big Leeds united uh fan base uh up there so go up and see mark and to graham up there massive Leeds united fans and uh, good luck to Leeds against Watford. And a big shout out to my Common City football boys. We're taking on Huddersfield this afternoon at three o'clock. And I'll be in my house shouting and screaming, hoping we can get three points closer to the playoffs. But I think it's going to be tough, especially when we got Man United. Yeah, we got Man United in the semi finals at the FA Cup on the 21st of April, 3 30 kickoff. They all want me down here, but they ain't going to get me. I'm at my house. That is it. Yeah, a few end. late. Please, I'll be few late. Oh, oh, a few late. Yeah, yeah, time. Please do. Please great. do, Toddy. Alex Merchant, great banter, guys. Enjoyed it. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, Alex. Great show, lads. Lester Bangs, Murph, uh, Michael Toot Toot Hill, Toot Toot Hill. Okay. Good, yeah. good luck to Wigan Warriors against Saints today. Oh, I'm a Saint Helens fan. <laughs> Me and you, big boy. Andy Park shared on Facebook. Cheers, Andy. Ted Whit Whitfield. Morning, Webby. Morning, Ted. And Ian Owl. Oh, morning. Sheffield Wednesday. A up, lads. Yeah. I think that's Northern talk. Yeah, no, he's, he's a big Sheffield Wednesday fan. Okay. He's a coming up. Oh, a up, a up. A yeah, up. he's coming over in my apartment in a few weeks' time. Going to be watching all the England games uh, here in the Three Old Shoes. We're going to be having a few sherbets together. Well, listen, all I'm going to say is thank you for Chris Todd. Okay, Absolutely thanks. super, mate. Thank you. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, let's spread the word. Let's get this show bigger. We are better than Roy Keane. We're better <laughs> than Jamie Carragher. We're better than Gary... Jamie Carragher, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said Who? Jamie Carragher. We're yeah. better than Gary Lineker and all them Muppets. This is the Webby Sports Radio football show, sports show. This is what we want. We want it bigger. We want it bigger. So let's share. Family, friends. Don't forget the golf. Alan Homemade Vlogs. Share with that gentleman there. Doing a fantastic job. Foggy by number 99. Yeah, you know. Give him some love. Facebook page, Webby Sports Roundup. Thank you, John. Cheers, Cheers big man. Thanks for coming on, son. And listen, the biggest thanks is to my mate Tim, living with MS in Tenerife tonight, five to six live. And you say, if, they, if nobody turns up, you say, Webby, get your fat out, excuse me, get your fat bum over here. We're going to talk. That's what we do. We have the crack. You think we he'll have change his top by then? He better change his top because yeah. I'd be taking it off him, I'll tell you. That's uh -huh. right. Yeah, uh, so we watch it and catch up. Still send the messages through. Any Same questions, time. please, and I'll pass them on to anybody. So, from me, Webby, in my manner, in Kyle Savaki, thank you to Jason Judy for letting us use the uh, three or shoes. All the football here over the weekend. I'll be in here today and tomorrow. From me, Webby, I'll see you later on. Take care. Over and out. Mm.